So today we're transitioning from game improvement irons to more of a player's type iron. If you liked the video, please hit like and subscribe. Hey guys, I'm Danny Farrell, Master Fitter with Second Swing, partnered with Larry Bobka on the corner. Very, very special guest today. Michael's coming out from behind the camera <laughs> to come get fit. Mike, talk to us a little bit. Hey, uh, yeah, so I'm usually behind the camera, uh, do a lot of the videos and thumbnails and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm here to get out of the game and prove irons today. Awesome, awesome. Right. How long have you been playing those? I've um, been playing these for like four years now, so okay. yeah, I think I've improved enough and decent ball striker, so. So since like high school? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. cool. All right, Mike, talk to us a little bit. Talk, talk about your history, why we want to get out of the, those M4s. Yeah, so I've been playing these for a while now and uh, they're pretty unpredictable for me. Um, catch those flyers every once in a while and a okay. little uh, extra distance that I'm not uh, not prepared for. Sure. Um, sure. And you've said you've been playing those for about four years now. Yes. So grooves, grooves tend to wear. So yep. you know, yep. uh, if we take a look at your specs, your specs, are, you know, it's a strong lofted golf club. Mm -hmm. uh, shaft, I'm guessing for your speed is probably a little bit soft. So we have the combination of a strong lofted golf club, a soft shaft, mm -hmm. high speed, and worn out grooves. That is the recipe for a flyer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sounds yeah. like trouble. So given that, any heads that you're in interested in trying? So I've always been a TaylorMade guy. Okay. I'm currently playing the TaylorMade M4s. Yep. Okay. Um, so I want to try the 770s. Awesome. Okay. Ping I-59s. And the Titleist T100. Yeah. Beautiful. Surprisingly, we happen to have all those here for you. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's see, hit a few shots, get a baseline, see what's going on. Sounds and then uh, let's start dancing here. All right. How's that for speed? Wow. Huh? No preheat needed there. No. No warm ups. That was a little fat. Okay. Not bad though. Yeah. But, you know, so we're looking at, you know, we got club headed speed of 90 mile an hour, you got a ball speed of 127. You launch it pretty well, mm -hmm. but you launch it a little bit on the lower side. You know, PGA Tour average is around 17, but they spin it at 7,000. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you got that little combo that you're a little bit lower on launch and lower spin. You throw a few blades of grass or a little moisture on that golf ball, you know, a little wet, medium, rough, hitting seven iron, that's probably going 205 mm -hmm. instead of 188. Yeah, right. 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 Get faster as we keep it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, let's hit one more for us, and yeah. then we'll uh, we'll jump into the seven seven. All right. So the club you're playing, we really kind of categorized. You know, I don't like the words game improvement, but I would call it user friendly. <laughs> Uh, so it, it's got a it's got a hot face. It's made for hitting shots that if you're not going to hit in the center of the face, you're going to get a good shot, which is nothing bad in a golf club. Right. But your speed, your game. I mean, what's your handicap? Uh, right now, I'm seven handicap. Yeah, yeah, seven handicap. Hit a lot of solid shots. If you got more time off of work, you'd probably be a one or a two handicap. <laughs> so. Yeah, so we need to get you something that's going to spin a little bit more, that's going to play a little bit out. I mean, one of the things that we see and that, you know, always concerns me, having done so many fittings outdoors through the years with, with top players, is I, I hate to see a spin rate in here that's a little bit on the lower side because it gets a little bit lower outside, too. Mm -hmm. So why don't we hit the 770 and see what it did. Danny, what shaft did you select for him? Uh, what a, just a fraction lighter. But uh, stiffer, so definitely need more of an extra stiff component to that. So we're going to play a little bit with weight here first. Okay. Something might launch it up a little bit higher, key in on kind of what you were thinking there. Showtime. All right. So here is the 770. Mm -hmm. So we got NS Pro Modus 3, 
Tour 120 X Flex. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now, Danny, did we do the same length and the same lie angle for him also? Yes. Okay. Yep. So that's always kind of good start because then it becomes an apples to apples comparison. Because right. if we change the length or if we change the lie angle right off the bat, then we don't really know what's going. So this is this is kind of how we 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 kind of step the process to get you the perfect golf club. Mm -hmm. That was bad. That does happen on golf. Okay. First date. Yep. Struck. Okay. okay, so this right now is really not matching up real well with what you're what you're doing. So mm -hmm. maybe head wise, shaft wise, you know, it's not it's not what we were hoping to get. Mm -hmm. So as fittings go, let's go ahead and uh, let's go to I-59. I like it. That launched a little differently, yeah. didn't it? Hey, oh, there you go. Now we're dancing. Some, some height there. Launch count to 21. Yeah. Well, well, you know, and that's the, there's two ways to stop a golf ball. You can stop a golf ball with trajectory or you can stop a golf ball with spin. So either way, you know, do we want to find a combination? And, and that's where you have to tell us what feels the best. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially on the golf course, you know, I've never seen you play out on the golf course. Do you tend to feel like your trajectory is a little bit low on the golf course? Yeah, typically. Yeah, so, you know, I would really look to wanting to get your launch angle up. We might not affect the spin rate that much, mm -hmm. but it's going to give us a way better golf shot. How's the look, feel of that compared to kind of what you came out of? Uh, it's very different, okay. um, obviously from the M4s, but yeah, I really like this one. Okay. Uh, feel, look, everything okay. looks great. Confident awesome. over it. Okay, good. Let's see a few more. Out of way. So there's a really good solid shot. So the launch angle's gone up three degrees, you know, you're gonna lose a little bit of carry distance because you got that hot, lofted, fast moving golf club. Mm -hmm. The other adjustment too is that we could make is, hey, those are at standard loft. Maybe, you know, Ping has, Ping has their spot power spec lofts that are a little bit low. I might not go that low, but we, maybe we order the set at one degree strong mm -hmm. where we kind of get, pick up a little bit more distance on it, but, you know, we still have the launch angle. I like that shot. I like that height way better in that land angle coming in for a seven iron than, than that rocket ship you have in the back. <laughs> uh, so let's try a Titleist T100. All right. I think weight wise, shaft wise, that last one was a lot better than the first. Yeah, right? I agree. So it I think we're going to pair the same thing, compare yeah. apples to apples with T1. Yeah. Okay. So we've got the Project X65, extra stiff, um, LZ. Yeah. That felt good. Yeah, very Beautiful. Nice. Great move. Really pretty. A little pull. Okay. If you had to choose which direction that ball might fall on a miss, mm -hmm. which, which way would you rather see it? Uh, I would rather see it left than right. Okay, I'm right there yeah. with you. So absolutely. Okay. I like to draw the ball. Good. Good. When I played in college 40, 40 years ago. You want to admit that? I do want to admit that. <laughs> I was a terrible hooker of the golf ball and it just, I just, I stopped it. I had mm -hmm. to. And it's just much easier. That right there, that's a much more that's a much more controllable shot. Really like the way it looks. Again, the land angle's better, the height's better. You know that shaft combination in that head and the ping with the either the Titleist or 
the ping head looks really good. Right. But now we're going to take the 770 and put the same shaft in there. So let's see right. what the 770 does. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, and that, you know, that's the one big thing about golf shafts is everybody goes, you know, you look on the internet and you're like, oh, you start reading all this. Oh, this is a great shaft. This is, well, the best shaft is the shaft for you. Right. Okay. Right. You know, Danny, what do you play? I, I, I actually play graphite. Danny plays graphite. Mm -hmm. Okay. I used to play dynamic old S300s forever. Well, 40 years ago out of college, I, I don't swing as fast anymore. So I've gone to dynamic old 105s. Same feel, same flight, but a lighter, a lighter package, easier for me to create club head speed and get some distance. Mm -hmm. So shaft is really, you know, somebody always asks me, what's the best golf shaft? Well, the one that you hit the best. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's really it. And I don't care, you know, if it's an expensive shaft or a not expensive shaft, everything on the market is really good and it fits a certain type of player. Yeah. Okay, so now we go back to the, we go back and now we've really zeroed in on the shaft that works best no for doubt. you. Yeah. Okay, now we've got it. You'll take a look at that shot. It's as good as the other ones. So mm -hmm. the shaft is way better for you. Now you can kind of start tweaking the heads a little bit. We can start talking about it. Mm -hmm. But now we're in a place where this looks really good. Right. So why don't you hit a couple more with that? Yeah. Sounds like a lullaby. Very, very nice. A little pull. pull. A little pull. Okay. That's just, yeah. Don't worry about it. Let's see a couple more. Uh, okay. Fell out of that one. Take your time here. No, and, and just, uh, that's a perfect example of a really good shot that somebody hits kind of poorly. Take a look at your attack angle, it's 0, 0.0. Good attack angle for a seven iron is two to three degrees down. So what happens is, is you hit that shot, rather than coming into it this way, your right shoulder gets active, like you say, you, it's exactly what you feel, you flip the golf club. That's why a lot of times everybody's like, wow, I just, I don't have any power and I just, I hit behind it all because you're flipping it you know golf shots are golf shots are an opposite reaction we hit down on it to make it go up in the air right so sometimes in here on the mats everybody you know feels like well gee I'm gonna hit it in the mats I'm not gonna I, I'm not you know I'm worried about you still want to feel like you hit down on it. you have to so uh, if there's one one thing that comes out of a lot of fitting sometimes is people come in here and they worry about it and they scoop a little bit Hey, our mat's got give. You're not going to break a wrist. You're not going to break a club. You know, you still have to feel like you're playing out uh, out on the grass and hit down and through it. So why don't you hit down and through on this one? Yep. And there's a perfect example. We go from 109 ball speed to 126. A little overactive with the right side, but, you know, so there's... There's a good indication there. Now there's a miss, there's a pull, mm -hmm. but that's the same launch conditions as you were getting in straight shots. Right. So why don't you hit a couple straight ones for us here and we can. There he is. There you go. Beautiful swing. There he is. It's just pulley on this one. I don't know just, what it is. Just a little bit. Didn't really see that with the other one. Right. So no, no, let's do this. Let's hit the I-59 one more Absolutely. time. Yeah. Okay, so we know we're zeroed in with the shaft, but maybe we're not quite there with the head yet. Right. Mm -hmm. Something I'm doing. Got a probably. consistent move going. Okay. Good yeah. miss. Yep. Good miss. Okay, so that's, there we go. So now we're talking about better shots. So 
you know, that's one of the things after, you know, Danny and I have done this for so many years that you watch somebody and you watch somebody warm up and they get, all of a sudden they get in this mode of hitting shots and you really have to keep an eye on it. And that's why we get so much information in our interviews mm -hmm. to say, hey, what do you do? How do you right. play? I mean, you know, there's people that come in and aim 30 yards left and hit fades. That's the way they play. Now, mm -hmm. do they want to play that way? Maybe. Can we help them? Absolutely. But same thing with you. You know, you're, you're a drawer of the golf ball. You got to do that. So that's where, you know, working with your fitter really helps and really understanding what's going on. And that's why I think at Second Swing here, we get so many repeat customers because we know their golf game. You know, mm -hmm. guy comes in for a set of irons and now all of a sudden he's like, hey, I want to do my hybrid. I want to do my fairway work because I was so comfortable with that or I did my driver let's work through the rest of the bag so I mean really kind of, you know it's kind of a relationship like a patient and a doctor yeah. you know and that's why we want to make it but we certainly don't want to make it like you're going to the dentist it's not painful <laughs> so right. uh, I would like to see you hit the titles T100 one more time okay. I think this one is my favorite yeah well, and that's important, too. I mean, Absolutely. if you like the way it looks, you like the way it feels, mm -hmm. um, you know, that's, that's an important thing. Yeah. That is very important because ultimately, as we've seen, good shots with all three of these clubs are pretty close. Yeah. They're better than what's in your golf bag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now it's kind, of, it's kind of you up for you to decide, what do you want to look at? You know, it's like going to the car lot and buying a car. <laughs> You know, I, well, they all have four wheels, doors, engines, and steering wheels. But what do you want to? What do you want to get in? Right, right. What do you want to drive? What do you want to go down the road with? Right. Hey, you're gonna play a lot of golf. You know, it's a it's a big purchase, and you want to stand out there when you get out there in the springtime and you put that down, and going, man, gee, I did the I did the right thing. The last thing you want to do is look at it and go. God, I hate the way these look. <laughs> Nobody's going to play good golf if you're going to do that. Right, right, right. Okay. Great sound there. Really good. Gosh. So maybe we've worn you out on this. <laughs> <laughs> could be. Too many swings. I think at your age, we could have a couple more swings. Oh, I think we're good in here. Good move there. Yep. Yeah. There you go. So, you know, I think from our standpoint, if you, Danny and I would say, it, it's kind of a pick em. I didn't like the 770s because they tended to want to go a little bit left for you. Right. And we know that tends to be, okay, I want to hit it that way, but it's your miss. Right. Uh, the ping looked pretty good, but you like the look and feel of those. Mm -hmm. Certainly seems like a golf club that uh, you'd be happy to purchase. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I think we found the winner. Team Titleist all the way. There you go. Cool. Yeah, I mean, came in here wanting TaylorMade to win because I've always been TaylorMade, but mm -hmm. here I am well, with the Titleist Club. Yeah, you know, one of the things that players have to come in with is an open mind. You know, you can't be, I know you, they go on the internet or you may be like Titleist or you like Cobra or you like different manufacturers. But if you have an open mind, you're going to find out that you're going to try some golf clubs that might work for you really well. Right. I mean, I had a customer this summer that came in and the only club he didn't want to try was a ping. <laughs> and he ended up walking out the door with a set of pings. A month later, I get an email from him and said the best three rounds of golf he's ever played in his life. Yeah. We're with those irons. Yep. So you really have to look at it. You have to be open-minded. Nobody in the nobody, none of the fitters, none of the salespeople work on commission. We're work basically trying to make you a better player. Right. So we're going to try all different brands. We're going to try all different clubs. You know, I worked for Titleist for years and was able to fit one line of golf clubs. One of the cool things about working at Second Swing is I get to fit everybody's Absolutely. golf club yeah. so yeah. it really really makes the experience for the player coming in uh that much better absolutely absolutely and mike thanks for stopping in we love the 
the high speed feedback and you know, the RCT golf ball did really well did from awesome. TrackMan. Yep, good job Titleist. Absolutely, so welcome to Team Titleist. Let's get those in the bag.